NEC stands for Namibian Engineering Corporation and the company was founded in 1958. Um, the company is dealing in energy matters with uh, water uh, storage and water supply as well as energy issues like uh, energy supply uh, using solar energy for example but also conventional energy supply for standby setups like generating sets and uh, UPS installations. Photovoltaic cells, as the name says, uh, converts light energy into electrical energy by means of solar cells which are put together in a solar panel and typically that thing converts light energy to electrical power. Um, these units can be uh, uh, connected together in order to generate uh, higher output uh, energy systems. Solar energy is a very important factor uh, which will be a big contributor to Namibia's energy uh, um, requirements. But we must remember that uh, solar energy only works if the sun is shining and there are obviously periods throughout the day where the sun is not available. Therefore, solar energy, whether it's solar thermal or grid feed or whatever uh, where the sun energy is used, this needs to be part of an uh, energy mix of other energy sources uh, which will physically make up then the total energy supply for Namibia but with the resources that we have in terms of biomass, water and sun I'm pretty convinced that, uh, I'm very much convinced that energy, um, the energy supply in, the, in Namibia can be uh, done within the Namibian context without importing power from the outside. Okay, the Merua uh, PV plant uh, is a, has, has got a um, um, peak installed capacity of one megawatt, which means that 1,000 kilowatts of uh, solar power is installed, which again means that um, of these panels that you see here, there are 3,865 3, panels installed with an individual capacity of 260 watts. Now, this one megawatt uh, uh, system produces uh, uh, close to 2.4 gigawatt hours energy per annum and if you uh, just to put this a little bit into perspective that will be approximately enough to power up to 320 to 350 households with inventive with power. This plant here uh, is designed in such a way that uh, this one megawatt will cater for approximately a third of Marua Mall's total energy demand. And in terms of investment and money spent by the owners and the developers, the return of investment of this plant will be in the region of about four and a half to five years. We are here in one of the two uh, inverter rooms uh, that are uh, physically here at the Marua Hall. Uh, two rooms because we have got two times 500 kilowatts uh, solar system to store in the Marua Hall. Um, and these rooms here uh, are equipped with so called inverters. That means that the solar energy which is uh, generated on top of the roofs, which we're going to look at a little bit later, uh, uh, the solar energy is coming from the solar panels and is physically converted from solar energy, DC current to AC, which is alternative current, through these uh, feed-in inverters and then fed into the distribution grid and distribution network of our robot itself. So every kilowatt hour that is Reduced on the roof is physically consumed within the shopping center. The reason why is that only in the event of overproduction, that means over when the shopping centers, for example, closed or there is more uh, kilowatt hours generated per day than the shopping center is consuming itself, only then will these inverters export uh, excess energy. The prices of uh, solar cells has reduced substantially over the last decades. Uh, reason being that the demand obviously for solar panels has, has increased drastically over, in, over the whole world. And for that, uh, manufacturing costs has reduced. The uh, efficiency of the cells is here and there um, in the, in the increasing, on the increasing trend. But one must also understand that there are certain limits attached. Currently, uh, crystalline solar cells that we also see here on this plant have an efficiency between 15 and 16 percent. Um, there are technologies uh, currently under, under R&D manufacturing process which have higher, but it's always 
matter of what can be produced at what price and whether the market will be able to, to buy that product at a high efficiency. Subsidization of solar energy is beneficial to everybody. At the moment, uh, the majority of power that is consumed within Namibia is imported from other countries in the region. And if we in Namibia, with the resources that we have, um, can produce the majority of the power ourselves, uh, we are not reliant on, on uh, importation of energy from outside. Uh, we can determine our own uh, costing structures, etc. And therefore, it is beneficial if the government, to a much bigger scale, um, uh, supports and also invests and um, subsidizes uh, investments into this, into this region. And there are currently a lot of projects in the pipeline. Uh, some of them have been uh, implemented already. Where, where a couple of uh, megawatt parks are built in this country to generate power in, in, in 